Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today, we will show you how to add a Google Sheets spreadsheet into a WordPress post. You'll be using the Google OEMBID plugin to do this, and when you do that, you'll be able to edit the spreadsheet from within the WordPress post. We will show you how to load the plugin, how to activate it, and then how to use it. So the first thing you'll need to do when you're loading the plugin is log into your administrator dashboard. And you can see that I've logged into the dashboard here already. Next, we want to go ahead and click on plugin. So go ahead and select that from the menu at left. And then we're going to add a new plugin. So click on add new. And then you're going to look for the plugin by typing in Google Docs OEmbed. When you find the plugin in the list, it'll be in the top left hand corner if you typed it in, right? You'll see Install Now. So click on Install Now, and it will be installed for you. Once it's installed, you'll see the option to activate. Click on Activate. This will bring you back to your plugins list, and you'll see that the plugin has been loaded. So next, we're going to demonstrate how to insert a Google Sheets spreadsheet into a WordPress post. So I want you to go to the post section first, and then we're going to go ahead and create a new post within WordPress. So I'm going to click on Add New. And then here we're going to go ahead and add your Google Sheets spreadsheet shareable link. And the way you get that is by going to your Google Sheets spreadsheet and we're going to do that first here. And then in the top right hand corner, you'll see the option where it says share. So click on share. You'll see a box where it says you can share with others. But in the top right hand corner, you'll see it says get shareable link. And that's what you want. So click on that. And you're going to see the link shown here. And you can right click on copy it or you can click on copy link. And then uh, once it's copied, you can go ahead and close this and then go back to your WordPress site. Here you can paste the link in and you can see that it recognizes it immediately. It looks like you can see all the all the functionality for the spreadsheet here. But you can actually edit even the individual values within the spreadsheet. So once you see the spreadsheet added to your WordPress post, we need to give the post a title so we can save it. And then once you have the title for the post, you go ahead and click on Save Draft or Publish. So I'm going to click on Save Draft in this case. And you can see the post. So here you can see that the sample spreadsheet is loading up exactly as you would see it in Google Sheets. You can see that the options in the spreadsheet can still be selected to edit the sheet. This makes it very easy to share Google Spreadsheets within a WordPress post. And that concludes our tutorial on how to add a Google Sheet spreadsheet into a WordPress post. Thanks again for watching this InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. We'd also love to hear any kind of comment from you so that we can determine what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.